let's hear what's on your mind based on all this. Over here. Okay. Um, hello. So I'm, I'm, I'm um, involved in organizing a peace conference in India, and it's a very grassroots-led effort, so no politicians, thank God. Um, <laughs> and I, I found it interesting that you said you stopped attending peace conferences. So I'd love to hear from you any advice on what we should do or what we should avoid to make this small effort a success for the people who are attending. See, when you say no politicians, thank God, you're just not attending to the source of problems <laughs> Politicians are not another breed of people. A democratic society means tomorrow you may become the president of this nation, that's what it means, yes? If you're willing to stick your neck out, you may become the president of this country or a prime minister of another country. So politician did not drop from the sky, he is not some other creature. He's just like you and me, he stuck his neck out which you and me are not willing to do. Let's admit this, it's not… it's not an easy thing. It's easy to sit down and comment, but it's not an easy thing to try to run a nation. <laughs> it's… it's… it's complex, believe me <laughs> So, you must have politicians, but you must have an atmosphere where it's not political in nature, where they will also let their hair down and talk like common citizens or human beings, but without them, what are you going to change? So, peace conferences, if it's just an entertainment, you can gather your friends and have a peace conference. But if you want peace on the planet, the most important politicians, the most powerful politicians in this world must be there. Only then there is a possibility of peace, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's just entertainment. I'll tell you, I was in a very important peace conference. There were forty-two Nobel laureates. Each one of them pulling out ten, twenty, one of them forty-four, forty-five pages of printed sheets without even looking up at anybody, just went on reading their spe speeches from morning to evening. And slowly the hall was becoming peaceful <laughs> I… in one afternoon, the second day afternoon, I'm sitting right here in the front row and I look around, literally everybody has fallen asleep except the security man who's standing there and me, the idiot <laughs> who is sitting up there and believing there's going to be world peace because of this conference and sitting up there alert listening to every word. Then I looked around, everybody's become very peaceful. They've been having late night parties and they're all very peaceful. <laughs> then when my turn to keep a speak came, I said, see, I've heard so much peace since yesterday. <laughs> I want to ask you, can all of you or any of you put your hand on your heart and say, you are genuinely peaceful in your life? They were straight enough. They said, no, we are not peaceful. I said, if you cannot make your mind peaceful, how the hell are you going to make the world peaceful? Mm. What's happening in the world is just a larger manifestation of the nonsense that's happening in our heads, isn't it? Mm. If you and me were truly peaceful human beings, do we have to worry about you and me fighting someday? Hello? Whatever the issues, we'll sit down and handle it, right? Because there is violence in us, now we have to have a boundary. Here there's a barricade. <laughs> Just in case, I get violent or you get violent 